Hello everyone, this video is going to be about lettering spacing. So first we're going to draw some letters. Again, an embroidery where you always start with some graphic. Graphics drive all embroidery, embroidery objects. Okay, we're just going to do a line. And we're going to go ahead and choose Arial. So it's easy. We're going to go spacing. And we're going to set our spacing to 20. You'll notice that this space is between the letters, uh, 20. But it really spaces from like the end of here to the start of the next letter. And the P doesn't have proper kerning. It's called kerning is where you kind of adjust the spacing so the letter looks good. So if you if you look at this lettering set, you could probably say the A needs to gap needs to be changed a little bit, and then the C needs to be changed a little bit. So to do that, we um, we go from auto spacing, which is just the same space between each letter, and we go to manual spacing. And the way we do that is under the lettering object itself, you'll see there's something called spacing auto. You click on that, and you'll get a new screen here. And the new screen will show you the spacing for each of the letters. And so if you go to the manual mode, you'll be able to change this. So the spacing um, for the A, that's the spacing between the A and the P. If we reduce that, you'll notice that we can change the kerning of the letters so that it looks better. You can see how the C is actually going into the limits of the A and the P is going to the limits, or the A is going to the limits of the P. And you might think that, okay, the N is a little too, maybe we want a little more space in between the N and the I, and then maybe the C, the I needs a little space after the C, so maybe we'll just leave it like that once. Okay, so now we've manually adjusted the spacing of the letters. So you can see that it looks nice and uniform. You still might want to play around with it until you get the look you want. So let's say that we are going to take spacing and we are going to turn the line sideways. We're going to modify this line. And we're going to make it vertical. What do you think is going to happen? Well, it turns like that. But what if I wanted to have spacing in a vertical fashion? I can do that. I'm going to move this to the center so that we have it in the center. Okay. Um, what we can do is we go back to the spacing auto and we can change some other things. So we have other things skew, uh, spacing in the Y, skew in the X and Y, and rotation. So we're going to want to rotate the letters 90 degrees. So if you type in a value in these boxes, for example, it will enter in all places. So that's a quick way to get um, the whole thing filled out. And what we're going to do is we're going to do 90. Let's see how that looks. Okay, so the spacing now is vertical, but the spacing looks kind of bad. We're going to go ahead and just change the X spacing to 0 and see what we get. So in this case, uh, what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to move the X down. So this is, so it's kind of counterintuitive, of course, but the X and Y direction is along the line, not up and down. So that's just something just to remember. So we're going to go ahead and um, change these. Now let's say that all the, all the, the letters are approximately 100. Let's just do that for now and see what this looks like. Okay, that's pretty close. A will just go a little bit more. And the amount, you notice it increments by 10. That's, that's this setting. So if you wanted to increment more with your little arrow presses, you can. All right, we're going to go and C looks like it needs to be a little closer. And then I needs to be a little further down as well as N needs a little further down. 
and G maybe a little up. Okay, so now we have vertical spacing. Is there anything more to describe here? There could be. Um, so skew will kind of change the lettering set. And I think it's based off of one or a fraction of one. So let's see, 0.1. Now, because we have vertical spacing, that's not really what we want. Um, you notice that the letters are tilted. So I don't think they were tilted before. Yeah, they weren't tilted before. So we got a metallic, in this case of the vertical spacing, we're going to have to play around with the Y spacing a little bit to get them lined up better, if that's what we want to do. Um, so to get the S, let's say we want to line them all pretty much up to the edge of the line there. We'll just go and remove those. So we're just going to move those. It looks like it's roughly 10 for each or so. And we can line that up like that. So now we have an italic uh, font that wasn't italic originally. But because of the skew, we've made it italic. Now the skew in the Y skews in the other direction. That might be weird to look at. Let's see what that does. Okay, that skews up like that. It's kind of an interesting effect, actually. So let's see what we get. Yeah. So you've been able to kind of just morph the, the, the one font into something different by using the spacing auto dialog. The next video will be talking about how spacing is affected on envelope lettering. So I have the same text here with envelope lettering. If you open the spacing dialog, you'll notice that rotation and the other things are not available. So you can't do the same sort of thing with those at this point. It just is done this way. So you can change the spacing between the letters, but you can't rotate or skew them. So you can still get the kerning the way you want, but you just can't change the other things. You can't do a Y spacing or skews or rotations.